welcome back. It's Oracle 684 or Oracle Friday the 13th Part 5 Favorite Characters. And right off the bat, Pam and uh, Reggie. Pam, she is the first ever final woman. Not the final girl, final woman. I mean, you probably classify her as a final girl, but she's actually the adult here. Uh, fun character. I mean, gorgeous. All of it. I, th I love the one scene where uh, the uh, Institute drivers that bring Tommy to uh, Pinehurst uh, right when she walk comes walking out of the house and goes up to Tommy. I thought that was like the one close-up shot of her. I was like, whoo, wow. Uh, she could pass as... Uh, Trish Jarvis's sister. I mentioned that in the final chapter. Uh, I believe I mentioned that in the final chapter uh, live sh live stream commentary that Trish Jarvis can pass as Pam uh, Roberts' his sister. I believe that's uh, the last name for Pam's character is Roberts. I believe. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while, but I, I remember ninety percent of everything with the film. But I believe her last name is Roberts. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, fun characters, love the characters in here. I got a couple of my favorite ones here. I mean, Pam is definitely my number one. I actually got to meet Melanie Kinnaman uh, a couple years ago at Flashback uh, Weekend. Awesome, awesome, awesome time, you know, meeting her and stuff like that. She's very, very, very sweet, very, very down to earth. So uh, next one we got is uh, basically, uh, I wouldn't say, maybe, I mean, I'd probably say her partner in crime, Reggie the Reckless. Uh, Shavara Ross, uh, this character is, besides Pam, is my favorite character in part five, besides Pam. So, uh, the, just, you know, the coolness, the, the, uh, the likableness of him, and especially what he would do and, you know, try to save Pam from, uh, the copycat Jason, you know, which we all know is Roy Burns. Uh, was amazing, especially the whole tractor scene. Just, I mean, uh, amazing, you know. Saving somebody, what you gotta do. And I don't, they've never, they didn't mention how old uh, Reggie Reckless is. I want to say he's got to be around like 13 years old or, or something like that. Either 13, maybe 14. Kind of find it hard to believe he might be 12. I don't, I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, definitely a fun, fun, loving character. Uh, you know, him and Pam are by, by far my two number one favorites in, in this film. Uh, the other one we got is uh, Officer Tucker, uh, played, by, played by Marco Shen John. Uh, a lot of, there's, I mean, there's a couple of different moments I like in this film, like uh, right when they uh, are on, I think it's not the highway, but it's like a road, and they're picking up dead bodies and put him in body bags and he's just standing, uh, Tucker's just standing there. And right when Roy and the other paramedic pick up uh, the body bag with one of the bodies in it, uh, Tucker says, what the hell's going on here? And <laughs> Roy says, uh, you talking to me, Sheriff? I, I thought you were talking to me. No, Roy, you're okay. Get, those bo get them out of here, like that. <laughs> Uh, another great scene is with the mayor at, at, at the uh, the police station. Oh, that is epic. I laugh every time, especially when uh, Tucker is, you know, sitting there with smoking, I believe it's his cigar, and he says, I know who it is. And the, the mayor's like, who? I s what? I said, I know who it is. And the mayor says, who? And he, he goes on saying, it's Jason Boris. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's funny. I'm just sitting down here. I'm, I'm looking at the notes. Who's next? But great character as well. Uh, what makes the movie really e even even better? What makes this movie even better? Ethel and Junior. Now, I got to meet the late Carol uh, Locatell at uh, Flashback Weekend for the mini Friday the 13th Part 5 reunion. I was originally going to go ahead and meet uh, Dick Wayland, but I, I had previous before that, I met... Uh, uh, gosh, Melanie Kinnaman, Deborah Boy, Deborah Voorhees, uh, 
I met those two first, and I was going to meet Dick Whalen, but something told me, now is the time to meet Carol Lucktell. Now is the time, and I'm so glad I did. Just a fun lady, you know, to, to basically talk to, and I even told her thanks for all the laughs in the film. Uh, sadly, she, she passed away, I believe, about a year, year and a half ago, but from start to finish, those characters were so funny between her and Junior, especially when they arrive at the Pinehurst and they go basically confront uh, uh, Officer Tucker uh, about, you know, what these perverts have been doing on, on my property here and there, left and right. It's, it's, it's funny, and Junior's mocking her and she turn, turns around, would you shut the fuck up and all this other stuff. Great characters, man. I mean, that's what you call, you know, a fun, fun ride when you have characters like this, especially with the other characters that I mentioned. And then the other favorite of mine is Violet. I really like the character. I think she was very, very unique. I think they were trying to go with the punk rock look, not much as the goth look, uh, because I don't think she was really that dark. I know she she had worn, I think, uh, all black and in one scene in the film, but, uh, you know, I thought she was a really, really cool character and uh, just uh, seemed like very, very, you know, cool in a way, especially that dance that she's, she does in her room before, you know, her death scene. I thought that was really, really impressive right there. Uh, I have not met Tiffany Helm. Uh, I know, I believe I lucked out one year meeting her. But she is also the daughter of Brooke Bundy, who played Mrs. Parker in Nightmare on the Street 3 Dream Warriors, and she reprised that role in uh, Dream Master. So uh, there you go. What a connection there. But other than, than that, that is my favorite characters of Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. And that is it, guys. Until next time, see you later uh, with another video. Bye-bye.